Good morning, everyone. I'm Kenya Bryant. And I'm Autumn Pena. Kenya and I were part of the class of 2008, and we're on our way to college because we have a dream. Hey, Kenya, how are you today? I'm very excited to be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> what was your high school experience like at Twills? It was a sisterhood. It was so much fun. We were a very small but mighty class. I think my graduating class was probably like 45 people, if that, so we got really close. Everybody was at my house after school, or we were hanging out at our college counselor's office, literally probably till like 5 or 6 p.m. If you, if you let us. We were looking at schools, we were talking about boys. It was a safe space and community that I had at Twills. As for me, I'll be up to Wheat in college. It's a long way from home, but they gave me 37,000 good reasons why I should go. I was awarded a Posse Foundation scholarship. Um, I wouldn't have known about that had I not been recommended and nominated by the college advisor, Chris Farmer. Having that like Posse network and folks that I was in school with that were from the same city looked like me. I think it was really beneficial to me persisting through the school. How does your identity and your lived experience influence the work that you do here at City? Yeah, so at the City Foundation, um, I am a program officer. The realities of even growing up in Harlem and New York absolutely informs how I enter into community and how I even kind of take on the role as funder. One of my grant portfolios is our Youth Economic Opportunities portfolio. We really support students in their financial inclusion journeys and economic mobility, making sure that they have access to different programs. I am a product of a lot of the youth development programs throughout the city and in Harlem specifically and so coming into corporate philanthropy that's sort of the lens I bring into it because um, at the end of the day the money is not mine <laughs> but I do have a lot of agency and I think influence in terms of how it can be spent and spent appropriately. I know you also volunteer with Twills now so yeah. what's your full circle moment when you think about your give back? to your high school. I remember participating in what was then called uh, Cool Women Hot Jobs. It was a career fair essentially in the middle of our gym with a bunch of professional women just like talking about the work that they do from all different sectors. Um, and I remember there was a woman, her name was Eleanor Wells. I walked up to her because she said she was in advertising and we had a very long conversation about the work that she did and I just thought it was so cool. Uh, uh, I was 16, she was at my wedding. <laughs> she was at my college graduation. She has been a true force in seeing myself and other black women that are um, in similar positions. So when I graduated from Twills, um, it was super important to me to participate in cool careers and really talk to students about my professional journey and kind of where I've landed uh, in my career. Nobody does this alone, right? Nobody achieves success without asking for help and also once you are successful, you have to pay it forward. It's bigger than me. It's, it's always been bigger than me. 